Monet here and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today I am at Bojangles. I am trying their chicken sandwich. Now, Bojangles kind of got left under the radar, but I figured, I guess today is the day. So if you're interested, stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. Um, Could I get your chicken sandwich? Yes, meal, the combo. A sweet tea? Do y'all have spicy or is it just regular? Okay, can I get spicy? That's it. Thank you. So, I feel stress ordering. I don't know where the level of stress just came from. But y'all, the line is moving so slow. And that's why I don't do Bobo. Because Bobo me moving slow. Is I didn't even know I didn't even know Bojangles was still a thing. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. The last time I had Bojangles, y'all remember? Do you remember? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! Go back and look at my Bojangles pork chop sandwich. That'll help refresh your memory of exactly what I think is possibly going to happen today. You know what? I'm going to be optimistic. I don't have high expectations, but I won't set them at zero. How's that? I think that that's fair. I think that is fair. That's what we're going to go with. I won't set it at zero. I, I won't set it at 10 either. But we're going to be optimistic and hope for the best. He didn't sound too excited while he was taking my order though. And I like a little enthusiasm when people take my order. Just a little, just a little, a little enthusiasm. Oh, uh, can I get barbecue and honey mustard? Thank you. Appreciate it. You too. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I ain't coming back. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know I don't know if y'all know this, but Bojangle got some good honey mustard. Oh my god, oh my god. It's so good. All right, let me put some hand sanitizer on. Y'all already know the drill. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Then let me get y'all close. Y'all, let's take a look at this. Oh, okay, hold up, because I ain't even mad at it. Hold up. Three pickles? Nice size pickle. That's a lot of mayo. Okay, what about the size of this chicken though? Okay, that's a decent size piece of chicken. You know what? Hold up, Bojangles might got me. Let me see what the flavor Hold talking on, about. y'all, because... Okay, what? You see that piece of chicken? But it's like, it's like heavier on one side than it is on the other. You know what I mean? Like, it's heavy on this side, but... It start, it start disappearing. It start disappearing when we get on this side, though. What's that about? What was that about? You know what I'm saying? It's only heavy on one side. Lord, all this mayonnaise. Okay. I'm going to bite right here with that pickle and everything is right there. Let's see. Mm. Okay. What is that acquiring taste? What is that acquiring? Hold on one second. Hold on. Uh uh. I ain't feeling that. Hold on. Hold on. Is it O? Why it tastes like that? Hold up. I got. Give me a second. Hold on. Y'all. Hold on, wait a second. Give me a second. What in the world? What is that? Why does tea hot? Why does why does tea been out in the sun? Why that tea don't got no ice in it, child? Give me a second. Oh, 
Lord, what was that? <sighs> Hold on, y'all. First of all, it is spicy. Because you can see the spice in it. I don't know what that taste was. Why was that taste tasting like that? There is an acquiring taste of just old. Like you ever walk into like a senior citizen home and it has a smell of just mothballs, old furniture that just came out of storage, but it's been locked away for over 50 years. Hasn't been dust off or nothing. They just sat it right in the common area. You have a smell like old, 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 old. <laughs> Cause I keep saying old. Cause I keep saying old. And then the smell. <sighs> Bojangles, every time we do this, huh? Every time, every time, every time. And now I know why ain't nobody do the review. Now I know why ain't nobody review it. Now I know. When nobody talk, that smell, it smell like, honestly, it smells slightly like gasoline. I'm not going to hold, it's a, it's a slight hint of gasoline. Oh, what did y'all do to that sandwich? All you got to do is season it and fry it. That's it. Do the same thing that's been done. Get the chicken breast. Season it. Whatever seasoning you put on these fries should have went on that chicken sandwich. The way my blood pressure went up and I only ate one. Okay, take the seasoning off them fries and put it on that chicken. Has the grease been changed? I'm concerned. I don't think that grease has been changed. That that grease, that grease been frying up since Bojangles opened. They ain't changed that grease since the store. When, when was Bojangles first opened? Some of that aftertaste is biting back. And I don't like that. I don't like how I bit the sandwich and the sandwich bit back. Why is the sandwich fighting? Like, why Why was it fighting and wrestling, hassling and wrestling with my taste buds like that? Y'all seen the look on my face? I was so disturbed. I was distraught because it looked like there was hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel. But it better not be Bojangles when I get there. I'm going to tell you that right now because I'm going to turn around and go back. Take me back. Take me to the king. Child, oh, it's just like it's giving me flashbacks of when I ate that pork, when I tried to eat that pork chop sandwich because I couldn't even bite that pork chop sandwich. It was so hard. It got my nerves bad. You see how my hands shaking because my nerves is bad, girl. I ain't never had an aftertaste in the beginning. How do the how do the aftertaste start in the beginning? As soon as you bite it. I thought it was an aftertaste. The aftertaste was in the beginning. How is that possible? I'm like, is it, is it oh? Bye, Bo Jangles, because y'all out here wasting people's time. Popeyes did it first. KFC. Wendy's been making chicken sandwiches as well as Chick-fil-A. Okay, there is a blueprint. You ain't got to make your own. Okay, there are blueprints all around you. Blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. Why would you take it upon yourself to do your own thing? See you both talking about I see you tomorrow. And I knew you wasn't. And that's why I said, no, you won't. You won't see me tomorrow. And that's what I knew. I knew that. I won't be back. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Shame on me. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm getting out of here, baby. I'm, I'm off that. I'm off that. I got to get some food because I'm hungry. For real, I'm really hungry. Look, but before I do, let me tell y'all something. I just want to say the new year is upon us and I want everybody to win, period. That's it. Figure it out. Figure out how I'm going to win. If life hasn't shown us anything is that tomorrow is not promised. So all of this, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting to do this. I'm waiting to do that. Even the fact that you waiting for the new year to start to do something. Start it now. Life is so unpredictable. You just don't have the time you used to have. And you got to start thinking like that. Start putting that in your mind. Always think in that aspect like, I just don't know. And would you be happy if you never did what you said you was going to do? Would that satisfy you? Would that fulfill you? Do you feel most fulfilled when you don't do what you say you're going to do or set out to do? Tomorrow I ain't promise, baby. Come on. Get straight to it, baby. We don't got time, baby. Let's get it to it. You hear me? 
All right, y'all. Well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.